What's up, guys? I'm Rasim from RossmartTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully, you guys are doing well, too. Now, this is our second video for our water-cooled Xbox One S. But this is part one of our build. There are going to be many parts to the build. In this video, we're actually going to dismantle the Xbox One S. We're going to take out the motherboard. We're going to put all our water-cooling like fittings and uh, blocks on there. And uh, that should be it for the part one. In part two, we're going to do some heavy modding on the cases. And part three, hopefully everything should be complete. But I want to show you guys the tool I'm going to use. This is the iFixit set. I highly recommend this iFixit set. It's like $70, but it has all the tools you'll need for this project and all the projects that I'll probably do in the future. So highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so now we're ready to tear down the Xbox One S. Are you excited? Right here on the left, I have the iFixit set. I will use this iFixit set to tear down the Xbox One S. I highly recommend it. It's like $70 or $80, but it's totally, totally worth it. I think there is a newer model. I have the older one. I also recommend you guys get like a magnetic tray. This one was like $3 and it'll keep your screws safe. All right, so let's start the tear down. we finished tearing down the xbox one s and this is the motherboard this is the brains of the operation and these are the most of the parts that we're going to water cool all right so this is the brains of the build right here this is the gpu slash cpu made by amd now again cpu and gpu in one on the cpu side it has a 1.75 gigahertz amd jaguar a core cpu and on the gpu side it has amd's radeon graphics which has a clock speed of 914 megahertz so this is the beast of the xbox one s this is the part that gets the hottest this is the part we brought the block for and this is the part that we're going to water cool first on the side here these are all the ram chips here there are 16 of them which make it a total of eight gigabytes of ram each one of these ram sticks are going to get water cooled using our little blocks now these are the only parts that we're going to water cool the other parts don't need any water cooling so i just wanted to explain to you guys what we're going to do i have the asp water block for this and I have those little copper addition blocks that we're going to cover the CPUs with. Once it's done it's going to look sick. So in the next step we're going to put on the XSPS water block. All right so this is the Ray Storm. This is from XSPC. This is the water block that's going to go like right here and cool this chip and we're going to install it right now. So the water block kit included this here. This is the thermal paste. We're going to need to cover the CPU right here so I'm just going to pour some in the middle and I'm going to evenly spread it out. It's not like a regular CPU where you can just put some in the middle. This has to be spread around so I'm going to use a piece of cardboard to spread it around evenly before we put on the water block. So now the thermal paste is on there. Now let's put on the block. All right, so assemble the block, we're going to take three of these like long post things, right? We're going to unscrew the nut on the bottom. We're going to first off by putting on a spring, a metal washer, and a plastic washer. This is going to go through the first hole here. Now we're going to repeat this step another three times. take this water block. I want the inlet and outlet to come out from this side. So I'm going to place it on top of the CPU slash GPU. I'm going to place the posts through the holes here. Make sure they go through. Make sure that each post goes through each hole. Then I'm going to take one of these uh, nuts. I'm going to place them at the bottom of the holes and uh, so I can lock each one in here. And I'm going to tighten on the bottom. As you can see, I turned the board around. These are the nuts. I have them locked onto each one of the post screws. Now we're going to flip it back around. All right, so since we got all the nuts on the bottom, now we can hand tighten the rest. I'm going to start with this corner here. Then I'm going to start tightening this corner here. All right, so 
the water block is on there snug. I got the inlet and outlet on this side right here. It looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> I have an LED light that it came with the kit that should go into these two holes. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I'm thinking of just getting some uh, UV light strips. This is the coolant we're going to use. This is the UV green from XSPC. They make their own UV green coolant and I'm going to use that in the build. I figured green is one of my favorite colors and green will always complement Xbox. So UV green was the best choice for this project. All right guys, now we're ready to install all of these copper one additions on our memory right here. And I'm gonna use this double-sided adhesive thermal uh, tape right here. And this is gonna go on, on the block and then the other part's gonna go on the actual RAM. There are 16 RAM chips, which equal up to eight gigabytes. I'm gonna use 16 of these water blocks and we're gonna use 16 of these thermal transfer adhesive tape. I'm gonna show you one, then I'm gonna speed it through the other 15. We're just gonna take off this paper on this side here, lace it onto our water block, right? Like so. Now we're gonna remove the paper from this side right here and we're gonna place it on one of the chips. So I want them all sort of like this. Okay, so I'm gonna place it on this one first. Try to get it in the center. Push down a little. So the first one is installed. I'm gonna do the same thing 15 more times. Then we'll finish all the blocks on this board. The motherboard is complete. I installed all those blocks. All that's left to do is run the tubing. We're not going to do it in this video because I underestimated how long this project is going to take. This is part one of our build series. I think there's going to be another two parts. I'm going to cut a hole on the side panel of the Xbox One. I'm going to put some acrylic. It's going to be see-through. It's going to look freaking amazing. We're going to have some LED lights. This project is going to be off the hook. Now, it's pretty much it for this part. Again, this is part one of the build. It's probably going to be a part two and a part three. Maybe even a part four. It depends on how long it takes me. But if you guys are interested in these type of videos, please like the video. If you guys like it, I know you're interested and I'll keep doing videos like this. So again, this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from MouseMoreTech.com and thank you for watching. <laughs>